Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I am no longer affected by people's highlight reels. I am no longer affected by people's highlight reels. I am no longer affected by people's highlight reels. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. So today we're going to be talking about FOMO, fear of missing out on Instagram. Okay, I actually should have made this video like three months ago because it was a request and I didn't do it, but here we are and I'm doing it. Um, so for me, I can say I started comparing myself to people online uh, uh, during MySpace. Yeah, I'm, I'm this old. <laughs> MySpace. I remember looking at people who lived in California, other people that actually lived in New Jersey, people that lived in Florida, and they had these big houses and they lived by the beach and they were so beautiful and like my heart would start beating fast every time one of them would message me on MySpace and I made them into like gods. And then that and then that faded out and then Facebook and you see your peers. So there's a difference between like strangers and you're just like wow oh my god this stranger's life seems so amazing sorry let me focus wow this stranger's life seems so amazing and then your peers who are you know getting married having babies traveling all over the world wearing cool clothes they have a great job uh, and you start comparing yourself to your peers which is kind of like that I think that sucks even more because you know this person you've been around this person what's the difference between this person and me like why are they excelling and I'm kind of not and now we have Instagram and Instagram has definitely been linked to an increase in depression in Millennials and the generation that comes after Millennials what are y'all generation Z I think you are um, and how a lot of people in Silicon Valley do not allow their children to have social media platforms and that says a lot you know that says a lot about how like the Mark Zuckerbergs of the tech industry do not allow their children to use social media um, and because they understand the effects that it has on the psyche they understand that if we live in a consumer society where, where we where we focus on what can I do to feel better I spit <laughs> What can I do to feel better? What can I do to make myself feel better? And um, by seeing somebody go to Barcelona, you're gonna work extra hard and get that flight to go to Barcelona so that you could take cool pictures. Not even so that you could be present. Not even so that you could just like, you know, enjoy your trip. No, you wanna go because you wanna go take pictures so that you can show other people that, oh, okay, I've been somewhere. That is a mess and it is a cycle of destruction and yes there are great things about Instagram that you know I get to show you guys like some of me and you get to show me some of you and there's a there's community there there's community for women for black women for people of color wellness like there is a community aspect of it but you do have to dig for it and there's just so much the internet can be like a cesspool right um, there's just so much on the internet that you really do have to be intentional about what you put on your feed. I am constantly unfollowing people on Instagram because I'm just like, I do not want to consume that. I'm constantly unfollowing people on Twitter that I'm just like, I don't want to consume that. Love you from a distance, but gotta go. So, FOMO, fear of missing out. Now we're seeing like in real time, someone is eating at the latest restaurant in New York. Someone is going to Miami and Miami and eating ceviche. Sorry, there's like a squirrel doing the most outside. Um, so how do we, in our real life, not allow that to take over us and make us feel like, damn, I wish I was in Miami eating ceviche. For me, what I do is I, I intentionally look at Instagram. So I know that, okay, I'm about to go on Instagram. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my God, the outfit is cute. Oh my God, the outfit is cute. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I practice saying, I'm happy for that person. I'm happy for that person. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. I'm happy for that person. Happy for that person. And because I know that there are things in my life that someone else wishes they had. And 
I might not showcase it on the internet, I might not show you guys all the highlights, but I got some good stuff in my life and someone else might want that. So when you think about it from what do I got that's really good, it allows you to say I love that that person bought a new pair of Christian Louboutin shoes, but also I think about it like um, I don't know how they sleep at night, I don't know how that person bought that trip to Barcelona. I don't know how that person was able to um, go and eat at a six-star restaurant, Michelin star restaurant. I don't know. And I don't want to know. Okay, because all I do know is that I sleep well at night. I sleep well at night. I enjoy the creative, wonderful things that I see on Instagram. And that's something that you guys should start incorporating, right? Instead of looking at somebody having an amazing time at Coachella, be just Ex like you're watching it to experience it with them be like wow Coachella seems so amazing oh my god I love that they did that oh my god that's so awesome and then you know also like something that I do a lot is I just post and go I don't scroll because sometimes I don't want to see what people are doing and I have every right like the TV if I don't feel like watching you know a show what do I do change the channel turn the TV off so same thing with Instagram if I want to just post and go, I'll post and go. And yes, sometimes I miss out on such amazing things and I get, I don't know an album drops until like a month later. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. That's just how it kind of always been though. I've kind of just been like, okay, like I'll, I'll find out when I find out. So how can you let go of feeling like you're missing, like fearing, fear <laughs> How can you let go of fearing missing out um, that fee how can you let go of that feeling of FOMO on Instagram? Remember that you are living your own life in real time. Remember that what that person is showcasing is just the good stuff. They might not be showcasing how long it took them to get to where they are. They might not be showcasing the, 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 the nasty attitude that they could have had to the concierge at that five-star hotel. You, there's so many things you don't know. So if you remember that this is just one piece of someone's puzzle, one piece of their life that you they are, they are sharing with you, they're choosing to only share that with you. Try to remember it like that. Just remember like they're only showing this. I don't know how the rest of their day went. I don't know what the relationship is with their mother. I don't know if this person has been to jail. I don't know if this person has a cocaine problem. There's so many things that you don't know about the people that you see on the internet. So release yourself from feeling FOMO. Enjoy what you're seeing. If it's, if it's something that you want to incorporate into your life, make a list and be like, you know what? Abina went to this really cute cupcake shop. I want to go there too. Put it on your list and go to the cupcake shop and while you're there enjoy your cupcake but remember that you don't know how people sleep at night on the internet you don't know how they what they had to do to get where they're going and you are alive right now you got some bomb things in your life and you need to start looking at them instead of focusing on what someone else is doing because you got some good stuff going on i know you got some you watching beanie tv you got some good stuff going on in your life you need to be aware of it, you need to be present of it, you need to count your blessings, and you need to be conscious while you are scrolling through Instagram. Be conscious of it, be conscious of what am I looking at? Why am I looking at this? That's really great, that's really awesome. And something that I had to catch myself with, oh my God, you know how you be a low key hater? You're on Instagram, you're like, that's not cute. Why are you wearing those boots? That's, that's, not, that's not your real butt. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? I'm supposed to be a person of light. Like, this is not light, this is not love, this is not cute. And this person has no idea what I think about their ugly boots. So, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna choose to do for myself is, I'm gonna start complimenting um, when I, if I see something on Instagram I don't like, I will do my best to shut my ego down, shut my ego up and be like, Silence is golden. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Um, and that's something else I do. It's like, it's like, okay, this is your life. You are alive right now. You get to choose how you experience Instagram. You get to choose how you wish to see, how you wish to see things 
on Instagram, how you want them to affect you. Instagram is a great tool for so many brands and so many celebrities and people. Awesome, great. Instagram is great for sharing beautiful music and great outfits and awesome makeup tutorials and meditations. Like, Instagram is great for what it's great for. But if you are feeling like, you start feeling depressed, anxious, down, take a break. I have so many videos on how to take a break from social media, how to break away from it, and being okay with missing out. Be okay with it. I see people partying all the time, and because that's not really something I do anymore, that old version of me is like, damn sis, you could be out there, pop, locking and drop it. And then the higher self is like, but you're so good right here. You're so good right here. You know what I mean? So. That is, those are some ways <laughs> to release yourself from FOMO from Instagram. I hope that this video served you. I hope that you received some things, that you took notes. Share this with anyone that you feel has changed a little bit because they're obsessed with Instagram and portraying images of them, uh, false images of themselves on Instagram. Share this video with anyone that you believe will receive it and um, be better for it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support and I will see you guys next video.